Okay, we are 14,500 feet on Kilimanjaro. See the mountain right there? We're heading from Karanga Valley up to the Brafu camp. It's really important to set a steady, slow pace. You just kind of move your feet forward and breathe. Stay at a steady, slow pace. Your guide will pace you out, and um, you just want to fall in line and keep that nice, steady pace. You know, if you can think about using the least amount of energy possible with every step you take, breathing in, and blowing out using your trekking poles. I just stay at a nice, even, slow pace. It seems really slow, but that way you can go for a really long time. You don't go stop, go stop. You go slow and steady for a long period of time, and then you take short breaks. When you do take your short break, you wanna drink some fluids, some water, some electrolytes, have a little snack, and you'll be able to go slow and steady all the way to the top of Kilimanjaro. Have a good climb. Slow and steady. The group's right down here pacing it out. And um, like I said, that pacing is just super important from beginning of the climb all the way to the end and the descent. You gotta pace Kilimanjaro out. You gotta go slowly, slowly. Poli Poli, Kilimanjaro, Kuna Matata, right? It's no problem. And it all comes down to pacing yourself out, good nutrition, hydration, and uh, just taking your time up here one step at a time, one day at a time, camp to camp, and you work it out. So pace it out, make sure that you're taking short breaks, hydrating, drinking, and um, having good snacks, and uh, just acclimatizing and taking your time up here on Kilimanjaro. It's the way to get to the top and the way to get down safely. Have a good climb. Amba, 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 Amba,